Hey there. Uh, my name is Maggie Rogers, and you are looking at Vincent van Gogh's La Nuit Etoile. It's a starry night for everybody else. <laughs> there seems to be this romance around the idea of the tortured artist, about how someone's vulnerability or angst could make them create more vividly. This idea that an artist's suffering is essential to their art. I don't buy it. But everyone has seemed to weigh in on Van Gogh's brain at this point. He painted La Nuit Etoile in 1889, six months after he cut his ear off, and then voluntarily committed himself to an asylum in Saint-Rémy-de-Provence in the south of France, not far from Avignon. A year later, in 1890, he died mysteriously at 37 from a gunshot wound to the chest. So what you see in this painting is what he saw from his window, his window in the asylum, the window of his mind. I guess that psychedelic, almost ominous spiral in the middle of this one reflects a lot about where he was in his maybe unstable mental state. Although if he's making paintings like this, he seems pretty stable to me. This starry night isn't like any other starry night I've ever seen. The moon lights up the sky like a sun. And the strictness of the town counterbalances the rippling cosmic waves. The cypress tree on the left hand of this painting, its browns and greens, they balance the whole thing. It's crazy, too, that you zoom in far enough and you can see this little space that he didn't paint and how he let the canvas be an essential texture on the page. And those rolling haystacks, exploding fireballs, Nebulas, all with their own reddish core. Zoom in close enough, too, and these stars almost look like eyeballs. They're watching Van Gogh right on back. Van Gogh wrote to his brother Theo on almost a daily basis. He said, shouldn't the shining dots of the sky be as accessible as the black dots on the map of France? Just as we take the train to get to Tarascon or Rouen, we take death to reach a star. It's a kind of apocalyptic vision, like Judgment Day or something, which wouldn't be completely surprising. Van Gogh is a devout Christian. This makes me think a lot of actually of David Bowie's Black Star. Someone being alive and creating a work that says goodbye at the same time. Surely his nights were more beautiful than our days. And when I look to the sky now, I think about Van Gogh and the way he showed me the night through his eyes. And if you want to see what he saw, there's just one place, the New York City MoMA, which bought it in 1941 and guards it jealously. <laughs>